Welcome back. This is not exactly where I left off. I did do a little bit of stuff in the interim. Uh, but largely it was just cleaning base, putting things away, gathering eggs. In this video, I wanted to do... Things... Uh, raiding beaver dams. Obviously, beaver dams were a thing. <clears throat> In this video, I wanted to sort of kind of do like a tour. Um, I'm, I'm not really, you know, it wouldn't be all that exciting to just watch somebody run through their bases. You know, here's this base. I put this rock here, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Instead, what I thought I'd do is I would go to each location and actually use that location as I use it. So I'm going to go do a real metal gathering trip. Those beavers, they're still locked out. All the dams over there. <clears throat> so first up on the trip is my snow taming pen. Snow taming slash killing pen. And I'm going to go knock out my Megatherium. Well, assuming he's still in the trap. It's been quite a while. That entire last video, he was in the trap. <clears throat> Damn it. Uh, is that just a... It's just an, a raptor, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, assuming he's still in the trap, knock him out, and then I've got a 50-minute torpor timer. Which means I could do, you know, a couple of trips for various things. That would make a lot of sense. So, step one. Damn it. some curry. <clears throat> I did not check how many <laughs> bullets it would take. We better take a lot. Let's get armed to the teeth. Just in case. That's it, right? Melee. And I kind of need... I got the grapples. I'll just get them if I need them. I need arrows. Okay. One of these and one of these. We're as armed as we can get. Dang Prolovius. I have a uh, holiday flavored coffee, whatever the hell that means. It apparently means it smells like mint and tastes like ass. So, yeah, good to go. Ah, uh, yes. So, one thing I need to bring... I'm gonna leave these on the guy. Hmm. Okay, now put stuff away, and we can basically go. So, when I'm, when I'm finished with knocking him out, it's basically gonna be night time. And then I'm going to head back to the base and perhaps do a little poly run thought. I don't know if they've respawned at this point. I'm sure that they have to have respawned, right? Surely. Okay, he's... 
So it wants to go on a walk, right? Why can I not access this guy's inventory? That's really weird. Imprinting already 50%. There's that. There's that issue. It's a lot of wood. I don't usually just kind of dump stuff wherever, but I'm in a hurry. And I'm not going to use all this stuff until much later. Okay, fair enough. Come on. I don't, I don't know how good that is. Two, 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 four. Three, four, three, three, yeah. We're just gonna... Trash it. Okay, got enough narco berries to keep him out for a while. Got enough uh, bolts to knock him out. Shotgun. Mm. I guess we don't need arrows. If we need to kill something, we'll kill it with something else. Kill it with the one thing. I will take my, um... <coughs> this guy in case we get into some trouble because well why don't I bring this yeah real quick going to get the moss chops I don't need a sword to kill him yeah we're good we'll just take that um what was I saying bring this and then just go knock him out and then start a timer 50 minutes in reality we'll start a 45 minute timer Five minutes, ready to go. Um, I also need to know. Oh yeah, so narco berries are what? Uh, eight seconds was it? Over eight seconds they apply. However much total for? Twenty, eighty-five, and ten. Man, such <laughs> that level balancing thing that other well, like rag where it like prefers higher levels or. Like other maps where it's like just more balanced, you know, flat random kind of thing would be. It's, it's a very different, you know, experience. Oh, I forgot this guy's this guy has low stamina. Whatever, it's not too bad. Um. Okay. Yeah. So I was gonna go from um, base to base and pin to pin and use every one of them in the way that I've used them. In the way that I, I'm using them today. Oh, is that a... Is that a high quality? Interesting. And that way I'd get to give a base tour, but I wouldn't just be sitting there pointing out structures that you can build on your own just as easily as I could, so... Ah. That does mean you'll be with me on my mining trip. I think I'm passing over my... It's a big rock. It's this one. Oh. Yeah, you Tyrannus right next door. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if he's even in here. Oh, there he is. Is he dead? He hasn't healed at all. Oh, dear. Well. Well, whatever. He's only a 130. I'm not terribly worried about it. And I'm not sure how I would get him to heal in the first place. How would you do that, right? Is that a saber? See, he's right there. Look at that. I can't fight that. Because I don't even know all about the flea mechanics, right? I've just I've experienced it a couple of times. 
10. That's not gonna help. I've experienced it a couple of times, and it just makes you go randomly, obviously, but, like, what if it makes you go randomly directly into the ground in front of him? You know, for, like, a minute, right? You obviously, you're just you know, taking the bites, so I'm not sure if that's viable. Not oh, that he just scare my moss drops. <laughs> Hopefully that guy can't move. What the hell's he after? Oh, good. Ruins right there. Right by my snow pen. I gotta remember that. What? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, he's chasing that pig all around. I wonder if he scares your unridden tames. I'm assuming he does. That, that would be... would make sense. Well... Sitting around waiting here. I could snag a dire wolf. Oh, but then I would have to kill a sheep. Yeah. Look at it, he's right there. Ooh. Dude, he's getting owned. Look at that. Dude, that pig is going to take him out. If he, if he... I don't dare interfere. I brought real weapons, but not ranged weapons. Come on, get him, get him, get him. That pig healing is just too much, I guess. Panther around here sneaking up on me. <laughs> Another one. Which is why that snow, you know, uh, base is so dangerous. What, what level is that mega? Oh, it's the same one. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm not going to record this. Uh, well, actually, okay, so quite unexpectedly, um... I, I stopped recording because I was just, it's just, wasn't working. Yeah, wolves. I stopped recording. Didn't seem like it was going to happen. Um, but then unexpectedly, the wolves killed the Utyrannus. So. Here we go. Sounds, uh,. Seems good to me. That does mean that I'm going to have to make my trip to the, uh, the place. Oh, Jesus. See, I can't even see my pen. This is a really dumb pen. Really dumb idea. It, it's a megatherium down there, and I can't see the guy. Oh, my God. There's wolves in there. What? Yeah, this is not working out. <laughs> 80 and 10. Um, can you guys die? Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. If I can get them to attack him. Yeah, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Jeez, this isn't even gonna happen. Okay, that's good. Yeah, th this is... This pin is not ready for action. Okay. Going to the mountain. I'm probably going to speed this part up.
Okay. <clears throat> so I'm here, and I've realized that while I'm here, I may as well get the oil, too. It just seems it's always been official. Seems to be. Oh, my God. I didn't bring the ghillie to repair. That's okay, I could just bring the ghillie back. Okay, well, let's get started. What is it? Let's get this over with. That's right, you don't ever put a moss chops on aggressive or, uh, you know, attack my target. Because the moment you attack your target, he's going to run. Speaking of which... Seriously. Oh, I've got him on ignore group whistles. You're right. Quite right. So there's a new trick I've learned about, but haven't attempted yet. Um, and that is apparently you... That's some weird... Is that the sound of a glacier? I'll tell you right now, it doesn't sound like a glacier. I've heard one in real life, but it does not sound like a glacier cracking. But if that's what they're going for, awesome. That's awesome. So, you... Passive. Okay. Ow, Jesus. Ouch. Not super comfortable today. Ah. All right, now let's see this organic polymer harvest. Okay, so instead of doing it myself, okay, you're gonna, mm, This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to put this guy back. Why don't you just stay there? Just stay there. <coughs> this is gonna be a little tricky. Wow, I'm still cold. And the curry's about to run out. Yeah, blizzard time. What is it? 17 degrees. Okay. Gonna be a little frosty. We'll just get the polymer and then worry about the oil later. Okay, so, now I look at the corpse, and I go... Okay, I've got him on ignore group whistles. You're right. Heed group whistles. Hope my Archie isn't showing up. Looking at this guy. Cool. Nine per penguin. That's much better. That's double. I was getting four to, I mean, maybe sometimes seven. Let's see on a higher level penguin. So let's, let's keep track of this. Oh, I guess we already are. We're recording. I can do this at my leisure. Okay, you are to be rec uh, following me. No? No? Not working? Period. That does not appear to be working. Uh, the eyeglass has a magic function. Okay. Interesting. It might just, like, not even be worth doing all this nonsense, just kill them and harvest them, because I don't need that much. <laughs> okay, so nine, seven, was it? Tw 20? I don't know if that's a lot or not. 
Who knows? We'll just do it this way and see if we come back with noticeably more. Help me It's Whoa! I didn't even tell him to do that. You know, you know, you know, I actually saw <clears throat> Slipgator doing this. He was doing, he was just doing it for fun. He was shooting him in the head with a uh, long neck. Look, at look, what? How does he know to do that? I mean, whatever. He's running away. Dude, dude, you suck. Okay. He, he, he is auto-harvesting the corpses. Okay. It's a good thing I got a lot of meat. He seems to follow me slash try to kill it. Huh. Maybe, maybe I should just, like, go near the corpse every time or something. Anyway, interesting. So I'm trying to bring Polly home for two reasons. One, I, um, <clears throat> got, uh, owned up on by something, you know. Um, and it, I was in my galley and it just wrecked the suit, so I had normal suit repair. But also, I really, it really... Heated up. Oh yeah, warmed up a lot. White Sky Peak. Oh, well, we got to go back to the Archie. Um, but the other reason is because I want to build some gates, and I believe I have enough cementing paste for two metal behemoth gates now, which is you know fantastic. See, now I've got to have my Archie nearby. On these next couple kills. Hmm, this is gonna be tricky. Well, I, I can make you ignore group whistles. Yeah. Oh, this guy's gonna be a nightmare up here. I don't think there's any water underneath this, so that won't be too bad. Why are there no penguins up here? So this this place is a problem. Talking about spawning mechanics. I, uh... Oh, boy. This place is only ever loaded in, in one situation. I leave my base. I fly all the way across the map here, which unloads it from the most pure stasis you can get because it's so far away. And then I harvest everything, setting all the timers to zero. Respawn timers, all that kind of stuff. Ignore group whistles. Follow me. Maybe it's like the following command helps in some way. Um, and then I reset all timers, and then I immediately leave the area before anything has respawned. So, and it's immediately, presumably, put back into stasis. So this place is only ever accessed directly out of the deepest stasis you can get. So confused. R real quick. Medium is good. Yeah, he wants to do it. He just doesn't know how to access the guy. Pretty confused. I wonder if he does it when not following me. Looks like he's... <laughs> Look at this idiot. Oh my god, are you gonna... You run off the edge? What? Thinking about it? Looking around? Considering it? Yeah, 
As, as you can imagine, this is just way faster with presumably like a club or whatever the other one was. A sword. I, I use a sword. I don't have a really good club and I don't like to use clubs. It's a PvP thing anyway. So I think the first time it wasn't because I told him to attack the corpse. It was simply because he was near the corpse. Taking your time. Is it even possible to do the corpse thing? Let's drag it over to him. Does that look good? It's just not worth the time. So that got double the organic polymer, but I don't know which attack is which. So if we're not going to do that, we may as well just bring our dude with us. I got just enough for some metal gates. Three organic polymer. It does seem like C attack gets more. Three, six organic polymer. Okay, that does seem like more. That that is more. This guy's got pretty good stamina already. And if I level his weight, I can get on him when I'm heavy. So that would be probably the best thing to. <laughs> that looks like six thousand six hundred and sixty-six damage. Yeah, seven organic polymer eggs, that's plenty. It's a high level baby? Yep. Just a normal level baby. I have a sword that I usually leave here. Which just seems equally excellent. So I'm not really bringing home a lot of... Or oh, that's freaking a lot. What am I talking about? Quite cold here. Oh man. You know, I'm really glad Ark didn't do. I'm really glad they didn't add anything in the water that jumps up out of the water to come get you. I mean, there are baryonyxes, but not in the cold waters, I don't think. As if a squid, you know came up out of the water, like, I would just never go near the shore. And then, of course, you've got giant crabs, which do... Oh, and sarcos. What am I talking about? There's tons of crap that comes up out of the water to get you. Decent amount of whatever, decent amount of whatever. Did I? Yeah, ignore group whistles. Oh, you know what? I probably had him on, you know, attack my target. That's why it wasn't working. Maybe. I don't know. Not that bothered by it. But anyway, this is my outpost. I miss a penguin there. I want to check the top again, see if there's more penguins. I gotta give this back. Am 
I warmer inside? Yes, I am. Alright. I never use that fireplace. It's just I'm never here long enough for it to be needed. Alright, there's my pick. And then I'll give you some stone as well. I don't know why. I should definitely bring the stone back, right? Look, these are pre-stacking change. So are these, actually. Wait, no, hide didn't change. It's, f it's fiber that changed. Okay. Take an unapologetic drink, and uh, let's hope it doesn't get pitch black on the way back. And I will spare you all the, the back trip. So here we are, pulling in to my base again. Uh, spend the night flying. Checked out Blue Obelisk, nice and beautiful up there. There's a volcano. And, uh, here's my base. It's gonna come into view here in a second. I just had a thought about uh, the next tier of income for metal. Right, my next increase, the next boost I'm gonna get in the amount of metal I receive, is going to come from setting up multiple bases for example, a blue ob, which I just checked out, which has an enormous amount of metal, and set a bed, a base, obviously some forges, and then an anki, or two, up there. And instead of taking my RG and flying over there, I'll just teleport to the bed. Ah, see, I gotta go home first. I'll just teleport to the bed, you know, vacuum everything up. Look, I only have one anki over here. But Okay, no, there's two. Male. Female. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, teleport to the bed, vacuum up all the metal, get it cooking, and then teleport to the next node, right? So up here, do the same, go do the same up there, or, or up there, rather. I didn't like that one. That one's all over the place, spread out everywhere. And then go to the same up there, and then maybe there's even metal down south, I'm not sure. I gotta get this guy home to get the organic polymer... In the fridge? Nope. There's no fridge requirement for organic polymer. I may as well just get some metal harvesting done. No matter what I do, it's gonna expire. Yeah. So, and then I would visit each place, you know, each place, get all the uh, metal that has been cooked up, and go. I really like how they added the, the mechanic that you can cook metal with the resources that you get from harvesting metal, right? Spark powder or flint plus, uh, you know. What's the other one? Uh, stone. Right? Flint and stone. It's pretty nice. That's pretty convenient. So, there's a lot of stuff around here. You know, I get a lot of aloe spawns, rex spawns. You don't get any rex spawns up here. I don't think I've ever gotten one of those. Not on the mountain, actually. Obviously, down there, there's plenty. Yep. Okay. Let's get to going. Get to harvesting. Mate boosted. Imprinted. I gotta make sure to use the imprinted one. One of these is, you know, like my first Anki that just really got leveled a lot. Good thing I brought two torches. I guess I'll record all this and then just like see what I want to keep. Uh, it doesn't say imprint. That doesn't say imprint either. Are these not imprinted? Nope. 
These aren't my imprints. This is not the guy who I want to use. That's the, the <clears throat> that's the mule. Yeah, this is my old Anki. 80 metal out of hit. So yeah, really good on that. And that was a double thing it killed. Kills double things in one blow. So really good stuff. You know, good stuff. And also what I've been doing is I have been boosting movement speed. So it's pretty decent. It's it's. <sighs> It's, I'm sure it's not faster than, like, hopping off, getting on the RG, picking it up, hauling it to the base. Right. I'm sure it's not faster, but it's just more convenient. I don't know what's up here. I, I recently discovered, you know, something I should have known the whole time, but discovered firsthand experience. There you go. I recently experienced, holy crap an Anki that you've leveled with melee damage. Not surprisingly, does incredible damage. And not just with the Tail Swipe, either. Tail Swipe is really nice, and you gotta use it in fights because of knockback, right? Knockback is important. Even though you have 8,000 hit points. 6 7,000 on this guy. But even the Bite, right here. The Bite. My RG. My melee-leveled RG is hitting for 150. And, you know, something like that, 150, 115, something like that. Really good, really, really bad, really you know, good damage. But, uh... But this guy bites, just his bite! For 182. Imagine the DPS on that, like, that's a really fast bite. Uh, everything but... We'll just give you everything. Not my shotgun shells, probably. Not those. There we go. I'll give you my crossbow, too. Did I ever reload this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, man, I, I want to see the DPS on that. Now, don't, don't, Ark, don't. Pretend I didn't say that. I do not want to get in a fight with these guys. I did actually dump these guys on the mountain one time, came back, and some aloes that I had just led down the mountain had teleported back up to the top, essentially. And so I'm in the middle of three aloes all of a sudden. I had to pull some... some smooth moves. And I do need to keep the obsidian from this as well. Forgot about that. I harvest these because they give metal as well, so I just harvest them. But, uh... Recently, I did actually run out of the poly. So poly's like, it's not just a late game thing, right? It's obviously it's a late game thing, but it's it's like you don't need it until the late game. You know, you acquire it in the late game and you don't even get it until then, unlike everything else. Not everything, but unlike a lot of the other things. That's part of the brilliance of arcs. One of the things I really like the most is that you, you need stone in the early game, right? It's a big deal. And you need it in the late game. But the difference is that you need enormous quantities of stone in the late game. You know, it's just like they... Yeah. Competently designed systems, really. I've only felt... I've only felt... I've only uh, encountered a couple of crafting games that were as good as Ark is for crafting. Like World of Warcraft? Not even close. It's not even... A, doesn't even come close for me. Yellow drop. Warcraft crafting is just something to do in your spare time. It's not really all that interesting. It's a tiny rush after you've already played the action. It's, it's an afterthought. There you go. It's an afterthought. Whereas, uh, you know, Zyson? X-Y-S-O-N? Holy crap! It's a crafting game, right? I didn't like Worm. Something was wrong with Worm. I didn't. It wasn't. Didn't click with me. Worm Online, the precursor to Minecraft. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a couple trips back to base. I don't think this is all optimal. Oops. I'm debating getting the. Um, 
flying Anki mod, right? Not obviously not a flying Anki, but when you pick up the Anki in your in your RG and then it auto hits resources, right? But makes perfect sense for the Doed, right? He's there to harvest stone. That's what a Doed harvests. But actually, that's not true. A Doed can also very competently harvest thatch. It's a decent thatch harvester. You know, pre pre Megaloceros, pre grinder days. And so what would you do? What would you make the Anki harvest? Just everything? I don't see why not. That'd be good, right? They're really, really good for thatch. They're really, really good for flint and stone. They're actually very good for stone. One of the things I'm doing in my Scorched Earth is I, I got a, an Anki. Incidentally, I got it way, way too early. I didn't realize the saddle was so high level. Um, and as soon as I can ride that guy, he's going to be my primary harvester. Uh, it's not going to work. Oh, it worked. The benefit of high weight. Yeah, it's going to be a good harvester, hopefully. I don't know how he does on the Scorched Earth specific resources, cactus, uh, sand, clay, maybe? Things like that, you know, who knows. Ninety-one metal per strike with mate boost. Okay, here it is. Oh, it's going to get that obsidian, too. I ah, will just let that fail. Oh, I hope I didn't get any from the... We'll see. There we go, 91 metal. Yeah, so I don't know. That, I think that would be a... I'm leaning toward a yes on that mod. On the Anki carrying mod. Because I was just able to start up the ability... Finally use the ability to... Uh, do, a, do that with the Doeg, right? That never used to work for me. I just flew all around with Doeg, hovered them right next to rocks, and nothing ever happened. Maybe it's one of those things where you got to have them on Wander or something like that, I don't know. But the point was, that never happened for me. But now that it can, oh man. Oh man, that makes, that makes farming. Well, actually, it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to farm, actually. For the Doeg situation, that's actually worse. For me. In my preference, because I don't like to do... I don't like... You don't need to get off the doe egg. An Anki, you need to get off. Right, you need to get off. Because they're just so slow. Um, yeah, they're slow. Whereas the... Uh... Oof, you're full. <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. Whereas the doe egg, they roll. They got that roll. It just quite fast. Rock to rock. And generally, rocks are very, very focused, you know, just rock to rock to rock. Um, and and just like we just saw with the moth chops, the hanging them, the dangling them over the resource, it just doesn't work that well in practice. You know, collision box errors, and hitbox problems, it just, it's just kind of a nightmare. Oh, I did. Okay. Wrong one there. <coughs> I better get these guys some food. Done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like I'm saying, my uh, primary impediment to um, metal acquisition is not cooking time. It's just harvesting time. Now, if I were to do like a six-hour farming session, Six hours of metal farming. Yeah, I'd probably run out of metal, right? You go around this whole mountain, uh, scoop everything up, and then you're going to run out. It might take more. Like, yeah, I, think six, I think six hours would be enough, you know? Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, if it wouldn't, whatever. Um, so if I were to do that, <clears throat> then yeah, I'd probably... I would be hampered by cooking time in the sense that the metal would not be cooked before I would want to use it. But that doesn't matter. That's not what matters. What matters is that 
<clears throat> Let's see, cooked before I would want to use it. Tell me I can reach the guy. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, you get those, and you get those. It's not that I, it's that I don't, it's that I have plenty to do meanwhile. I gotta go build bases, I gotta go all kinds of stuff. So, I'm not hampered by that. There we go. And you are ready to be hauled back to base. Y'all got food, you need meat. Oh, I can just give you some of my meat, actually. Uh, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go back to base. Eat that. There you go. So my yeah, my thought here was maybe get a Parasurf, full level, high level Parasurf, platform saddle, forgers on top, and have him wander around this entire mountain with a bunch of forges on top and a bunch of ankles, right, running around. But. I just don't think that'll speed anything up, really. Compared to this... I, I've just got to dump everything here at this point. Whatever, just... Gonna have to do some cleanup here, obviously. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Okay. We're gonna have to use these. Ah, oh, man, they increased the amount on this. I just recently learned you push A. And it, and it does all things. I'm always wondering what that hotkey was. Okay, don't remember, don't forget to grab stuff out of the smithy when I get back. When I leave. I definitely don't need more spark powder. But it, it's the only thing I can do. It's what I need to make. Why do I have that? Okay. Kind of interested in how much poly is left, but... Meh. Is there enough to justify bringing that other dino back? No, because I can just load every... Mm. I think, honestly, there might be enough to justify it. I gotta go here in a minute. Oh, it's already 10. Yeah, wow. I gotta do this fast. Oh, good. These guys are like big spiky spiders. creepy. And I haven't bothered to track how much metal I get from this, because, you know, it, is it really relevant, you know? It, it is, in the sense that I need to know whether I'm, ah, so much more in a, each forge. I need to know whether I need to stop on my melee, on my Enki's melee, right? Instead, go for weight and movement speed. Um, and, you know, hit points or whatever, right? Stamina, maybe? Right, who knows? Oh, good, I can... Oh, that was nice. <laughs> but, yeah, I just haven't bothered, because bottom line is I'm going to be shaving this whole mountaintop no matter what I do. So, does it really matter how much it gives me? Yes, obviously it does. But, whatever. I've recently been bothered by the fact that these guys don't starve on this base. Like, I'm supposed to have to fly back to a base every now and then to fill up the trough, right? But that's effectively just not a requirement. It just doesn't need it. 
because the trough empties, their the berries expire from their inventory properly, but their hunger just never goes down. So the base maintenance aspect is kind of just gone. I'm assuming it's still midday. Yeah, we got a long time. I always get this even though I don't really need it, but I, I need the stone, right? Stone is... I'm building a, a lot of behemoth gates, so stone is not unneeded. It's not useless. So you gonna make it? No. That's fine. Estimate I need another 10 stone behemoth gates. Um, with probably, you know, like maybe like a hundred more walls, stone walls or something, and then the, the foundations, ceilings, and pillars to go with those. Probably not quite that many, but still a good amount needed. Before I have a giant enclosed area in which I can raise entire armies in peace. Relative peace. Right, arc peace. So that's my next goal. Oh. I had something of a script here. Moss traps bring to the penguins. Mine cold peak and knock out the megatherium. That first one didn't go so well. That last one, rather. I've really got to use... I wonder if I should not build behemoth metal gates because I don't need them right, right now. I don't need any more right now. I'm wondering if I should keep those not built, <laughs> and um, instead build metal stuff, because I need to repair, essentially, both of my metal pens. Alpha killing pens, right? Taming pens are easy, but alpha killing pens are critical. And both of them need repairs. Or rather, completion. I can't see anything smaller than a Carno in one of my pens, in my pen, main pen near my base. Oh god, come on. That leveling animation. And I cannot... Obviously the other one is like halfway built. Very poorly built too. I, that, it's really gonna suck. Is that it? Okay. I do need to... Everybody stop following everybody else. Bring you back to base because you can't help anymore. But I need to bring you up to these. <clears throat> I always like to mow these off the top. Whoa, look at the weight. Jeez. I'll just get the other guy to do it. Don't recall being that overweight. This oh I'm on my weak RG. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we'll take the light uh the light Anki. Crystal late game thing, right? Don't you need it for like uh, electronics, maybe, I think? I think you need it for electronics or something. I'm not sure, but I, regardless, I don't need it right now. I have tons of it. I have tons of, of unused greenhouse building 
material, buildings, pieces. So I'm just not building with it. Is that another one that I haven't touched yet? Oh. This guy's... He's getting half the metal the other guy gets. See, maybe there's that imprint bonus that's not showing up. Surely there'd be a way to tell that. Oh, right, isn't there like a... Yeah, there's a hand icon. It's like a little clasping hands icon. When you're on an imprinted dino, which indicates their strength is boosted. So I've noticed a mistake with the, the more of the stasis code. I'm already full. I, can't, I don't even want to get the crystal. I need the rare mushrooms from it, because I haven't figured out how to go to the uh, swamp and get the rare mushrooms. I know everybody says, just go to the swamp, uh, but uh, I don't know where to go, what to do, what to bring. And I don't like being in the swamp, right? Oh, we're good. There's only one that's expired. Really? Only one expired? What's the total? Okay, because it's a half hour expiration date, so that's not even bad. Okay, get this cooking, and then I gotta go. I got an appointment to, uh... Play video games? <sighs> yes. My life is going exactly to plan. Yeah, okay. We'll, uh... We'll do this. Even though that's only taking, what, 100 pounds from him? Well, great. Now I can load it all into one forge. Yeah, so anyway, there's a problem going on with this base. Uh, this base is a little bit like the other base, where I only ever bring it out of deep stasis, mine everything, and then immediately leave all the timers to do their thing in deep stasis instead of in like hibernation or repeat visiting that kind of thing and one of the problems I've seen is that you know you calculate the amount of spark powder or wood required per you know stack of metal right and then you put exactly that amount of spark powder required in the thingy and then you leave and you come back you know, well after it should all have been done, and you come back, and it is all done. It's all done. Except only half the amount of spark powder that should have been consumed was consumed. For whatever reason, it's not consuming the correct amount of spark powder, but it is cooking all the metal, which I'm thankful for. So as an end result, but actually that doesn't affect me very much. Um, it doesn't really, like... I have I have more spark powder than I need to begin with, so no problem there. You know, and I I just make spark powder whenever I need it, and I just throw flint away if I don't need it. So it, effectively, no no problem happens because of that. But it is disconcerting to to <laughs> to question your math every time. Like I, I know how to divide by six. Like that's I've got that down. You know. Let's not make any more. Let's bring Flint back. Um, and actually, let's do this. This guy's going to have to carry the moss chops, which weighs probably virtually nothing. So I'm going to need... I'd like to bring home as much stone as I can, but what I need is all of my stuff. Plus the obsidian and the oil. Darts. No, these are up here. Yeah. City and anyway, that's what I really need. Oh, he's fine. He's got plenty. I can definitely bring stone home. Okay, what do I got? I've got 18 stacks. Mm, 17 stacks. How much can I fit in my inventory? Uh, 260 in each one is what we're doing. Right, anybody want to help me? 260 divided by... Oh, shit. It's not going to happen. 260 divided by 6. 26 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So, uh, 40 or 400. Yep, one of those. 
I think it's 40. Isn't it only 40? Because 260 is not very much. I usually have way more than that. That will do at the different amount in that one, actually. Okay. Alright. Calculator. What do we got? Four in the other one. 400. Alright, I'm going to put 66 in this one. Half. These are all... Oh, it's not It's not 260. What was I thinking? That's weird. Divided by 6. 110. Cool. Uh, 100. 10. 100. That was weird. Again, lag on my personal server. That is pretty unusual. I would have a little more. I should have put another 5 in there. No, just throw that in there and whatever. That'll probably be done, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Nothing of interest in this vault. Put this here. This is supposed to be my goodies, but it's just not useful. I don't have any polymer in there. What do I desperately need back at base? Metal. I do need the metal. And I need the stone. I mean, look at this. Do I need the spark powder back at base? I don't think I do, but I have a lot here, so we'll be good. Um, yeah, done. Now, I do need to get back to the other base before I quit. I don't need to, but I'm going to. I've already emptied out everything else here. Why is this guy heavy? What in the world? You've got, like, almost nothing in your claws. Okay, we can still run. We're good. It's fine. Alright, I will uh, cut it here.